Hello everyone, this is part two in a WLED series I'm doing. In this video we'll be flashing the firmware WLED of course. We'll be connecting the WS2812B LED strips to the board. And we'll also be doing some basic configuration on the WLED and then adding it to Home Assistant. I hope at least one person finds this useful. Thanks. Let's jump right in this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the D1 Mini onto the board we made in the first video. After we get that on there nice and snug, we're going to connect the USB cable to our computer where we're going to use Pi Flasher, link in the description, to flash the WLED firmware to our board. All right, now we're going to open up Pi Flasher, which is the GitHub in the description. And we're going to download the latest release of WLED Again, be in that GitHub. We're going to connect to the device. It's connected. We're going to confirm where we're going to use that latest WLED download. Make sure to set the DIO. The baud rate is just how fast it's connecting and transferring data. We're going to wait for it to finish. All right, cool. Now we're going to switch to the access point that it creates, the WLED-AP. Password is going to be WLED1234. I've made several of these, so I now have to type it in. Now that we're connected, we're going to go to 4.3.2.1. I'm going to put all of our Wi-Fi stuff in there. password and whatever you want to call it and you, for your password I normally make it the same as the Wi-Fi but each is their own Hit save and connect I'll wait for it to go and do its thing once it's there we're gonna go back to our router we're gonna figure out what IP it was assigned now eventually I would of course put this as a static IP but you know, I'm not that you can see that it's on 192.168.20.8. Paste it and now we're at the web movie. Now we're gonna do some basic things here. We're going to for the name is the same that we used. Make identification a little bit easier. In my case I'm gonna use my NTP server for my router. I have PF sent so I'll run one on there. Time zone, whatever your time zone is. Save and sync interfaces. Now, if you don't have Home Assistant or use something else, or even if you have Home Assistant, you want to use MQTT. You put all that stuff in here. Otherwise, we are good to go. Back. Now we're going to go ahead and connect to the. WLEDs and in this one case I'm just using scrap so I had to solder some wires on but usually you'll just have a quick little connector okay. I like to put the solder on the pins first on the pads first that way it makes soldering on the wires just a tad bit easier now just a little bit of hot glue just to help everything stay together now we're going to go ahead and cut the wires off. Then, um, we'll strip them, do all that fun stuff. And then I like to use heat shrink tubing. You don't have to, but a little bit of my OCD forces me to. Size so fitted. Then we'll go ahead and we'll melt it on. I didn't feel like running downstairs and grabbing my heat gun, so I just used this lighter I had here. Good, doesn't it? Now we're going to use a little bit more hot glue just to secure the back. We're going to hook everything up. 
I just went and grabbed a 5 volt power supply I had laying around. Now I'm just going to size some wires to connect the power supply to the board. Then we're going to connect the LEDs to the board. Now we're going to test a few colors here and there. And I'm just using the web GUI. Right, well, we know it's working. Go ahead and add it to Home Assistant. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Settings, Devices, and Services. Add Integration. We're going to look for WLED. Select it. And we're going to type in that IP address that we got earlier. And we're going to add it. And I'm just going to click a random place. I'm in my office, so let's go ahead and select that. And now look. Go down to WLED. See that? There it is. And if we had presets and whatnot, we could do it here. But here's just a quick on off. Blah, blah, blah. If you found this interesting, subscribe and you will see where I add in the next ones where I put them behind my TVs. I make Christmas lights. Then I'll set up automations and do some pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.